display, share through. Soompi.1x1 singer Sean has opened up about the recent controversy regarding chart manipulation. See also, CEO of Sean's agency directly addresses digital chart manipulation controversy on July the 22nd. Sean posted his thoughts through an Instagram story. Soompi. Display. News. English.300x250, BTF Soompi. Mobile. English.300x250, ATF he wrote. I hope no one's feelings get hurt while the truth gets uncovered. I know that it's difficult to heal once your feelings already get hurt, so I'm sorry to everyone who got hurt and is in pain. I wanted to quickly show clear evidence and say that I'm sorry for making you suffer, but there's still a very long road ahead until it's proven. Thank you for being with me through this difficult time. I'll try to gather strength. Suspicions of chart manipulation first emerged when Sean's track, Way Back Home, which was released on June 27, topped several major real-time charts on July 16 at 7 a.m. KST despite being against girl groups with sturdy fandoms and popularity with the general public like Twice and Blackpink. The controversy grew deeper due to how different his case was to other artists like Melomance, and how Sean's track rose much faster than Jang Dutchel's and Nilo's respective songs. Sean's agency DCTOM Entertainment denied any chart manipulation and stated they had used viral marketing. A source from Mellon also stated to news outlet OSEN at the time, after analyzing the streaming progress of Sean's way back home, nothing significant was observed. There were no unusual movements. The controversy did not go away. Some music fans filed a national petition on the Blue House website and many people continue to express doubt on what has occurred, citing other artists as legitimate examples of sudden popularity without manipulation. JYP Entertainment's Park Jin Young shared plans to request an investigation from the Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism and the Korea Fair Trade Commission on Digital Chart Manipulation. The Korea Management Federation KMF, also stated that it would gather experts in the industry to get a better handle on the situation and vowed to actively resolve these controversies regarding chart manipulation. DCTOM Entertainment has since taken legal action against malicious comments and filed a complaint with the cyber investigations team at the Gangnam Police Station in Seoul for insult and defamation. The agency also claimed that they, too, were victims and decided to request an investigation into music chart manipulations and illegal marketing allegations to the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office. They had first requested data on the illegal use and history of music sites as well as detailed usage breakdown by time and users from Garn Chart and Ministry of Culture, Sports, and Tourism, but said they did not receive an adequate response, leading them to go to the Prosecutor's Office. The CEO of DCTOM Entertainment responded personally as well by saying that the agency didn't partake in illegal activities and cited Sean's popularity among EDM fans. What are your thoughts on the ongoing controversy? Source 1, 2.